Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, and I've carried on about our week without you. Um, I kind of wanted to share some of our meal planning things that we have done. Um, we've successfully so far stuck to our plan, and um, we're looking good so far. We still have leftovers, so I think <clears throat> Either today or tomorrow, we're gonna have to shuffle some things from the plan so that we would focus on getting rid of some of the leftovers that we have. Our fridge looks so full. It's like our refrigerator foods grew. Even though we haven't bought more food. Let's see. It's full. When we started this, it was pretty much empty. So, um, <clears throat> this is our chicken salad that we made. Actually, Sunday helped me make it. And it was so good. We put it on sandwiches. We put it on, uh, I put it on a wrap. And we still have some from Monday. That one pot skillet. Hi. <laughs> we had um, sloppy joes last night and it was the best. Yeah, we've had some cans of sloppy joe for, I don't know, a year. So I figured it was time to <laughs> get rid of them. Um, so today for lunch, I think we'll do the one pot skillet for lunch and um, maybe we'll do the chicken salad for dinner or something just so we can be moving on from those things. And we, I was going to do the chicken Alfredo lasagna for dinner, but we still have, like I said, lots of leftover foods that we kind of need to eat. So. Um, that's, that's what we're gonna try to focus on today. Excuse me. Look what I made. <laughs> Winter's still pregnant. She's not due until like Friday or Saturday, so just keep on watching her. Hey, close that. <laughs> okay, and let's check out the bunnies. Hey, baby. This litter is actually so sweet. Okay, so let's pull up this meal plan. So on Monday, we made pancakes, and then we had kind of an excess of sourdough starter, so we made sourdough pizza crust from the discard, which is so, so easy. You literally heat up your cast iron skillet in the oven at 425, I believe. Um, and once it's super hot, you take your sourdough discard and you just pour it right in the pan. Um, if your pan is seasoned well, you don't need to add oil, but you can add some oil at the bottom so it doesn't stick. Um, ours is pretty seasoned, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so you just coat the whole bottom. You kind of bring it up onto the rims um, so that you kind of create like a crust or like a bowl. And then you add all the toppings. So Brooklyn actually made the pizza. She put the, all the toppings on it. Um, and then you just pop it back in the oven for 10 minutes. Uh, for dinner, we did the one pot skillet. That was honestly one of the most favorite things that I've made lately. It was so good and it was so versatile. We had leftover steak from the weekend um, that Josh had grilled. And I used that instead of ground beef, with the re which the recipe called for. And it was so good, it was so good. Um, so what I love about it, and next time we make it, maybe we'll do chicken or we'll do pork, is you literally just kind of throw together whatever meats and vegetables that you have. And then you dump, it's a sourdough mixture, so it's your sourdough discard mixed with some eggs and some other things. Um, <clears throat> And then you just pour it on top and it's kind of like a pot pie. It was so good. Okay, Tuesday, we had bagels for breakfast <clears throat> and the kids also had some leftover pancakes that were in the freezer. They love pancakes. Um, and then we made that chicken salad and then we had sloppy joes for dinner last night. And what do we have? We had it with a side of pickled beets. We had it with some couscous that was left over from Monday. And then, what was the other thing that we had? Oh, and then we had some green beans. So today it says pancakes, which Sunday right now it has pancakes in the toaster. Um, so pancakes, 
And it says we were gonna do some pizza rolls because we've got lots of pizza rolls because the kids just love them um, for lunch. But like I said, I think we're gonna focus on some of the leftovers instead. And then a chicken alfredo lasagna <clears throat> for dinner tonight, which we may just switch to Friday so that we don't get too off track. So yeah, keep you posted on that. Um, we have a farm updates. So we moved our piglets uh, two litters outside. And I tried to make a video. I actually went and did like tours with Josh that day because since I'm pregnant, he does not let me go out there where it's slippery. Um, but the camera died the moment I went outside, of course. So I didn't get to document all the chores, follow him around like a little stalker. Um, and I didn't get to have videos of our piglets being moved out. But it happened. <laughs> and that's what's really hard about making videos for me. I'm not in the groove of it and I don't have our cameras charged and all that kind of stuff, but I'm working on it. So, <clears throat> yesterday, last night, we also got two Highland cows delivered from Oklahoma. So I'll probably go outside today and kind of show you some of the things that are new around our property. Um, not that you've ever seen our property yet because I've made lots of videos, but I haven't uploaded a single one. So, um, those of you who have watched our channel before, you probably haven't seen us in, I don't know, a year and a half? Yeah, probably a year and a half. And obviously we're on a whole new property now, and I had started lots of videos of kind of our process into moving our whole farm and setting up new pens and things like that. So it'll just be new for everybody because we're finally jumping back in. My only like big goal for 2023 is to be documenting more because I love being able to look back at our progresses and the kids will just watch our videos randomly. So I want to do this for my family, but I also think that we have a lot to offer um, to learn from. So that is my big goal for 2023. So bear with me probably not going to do any like fancy videos i'm not going to look all put together for videos like i was in the past it's just unrealistic for our lifestyle so you're going to get the real me the real family the, our real situations there'll be kids in the background yelling at all times and um because of copyright we can't have music playing in the background we often have lots of worship music playing but you know that doesn't uh go well on youtube so It'll be hard to kind of film without having to turn our music off, but you're gonna get what you're gonna get. So, um, I'll update, you'll be back and check in and we'll go from there. Okay. Is that good? You like the pancakes? Yes, yummy? <laughs> yes.
in my closet. <laughs> um, she was pacing around a lot and just really, really antsy, trying to find a quiet, dark hole to crawl into. She did dig a den outside underneath our deck and she would not come out until the Amazon driver came here. So I got her into the house, but she wanted to have her puppies down there. So when she followed me around, saw, <laughs> saw the uh, closet door, she pushed it open, it was a nice quiet den. She has not left this space. So I brought her a blanket so she can scratch around which she's been doing plenty of, and I think we're gonna have puppies today.
Watch me. Watch me.